It looks like he might have wandered out into the danger zone. And the tide's coming in. I think I'd better call the police station. Mike Flood is lost in the tidal flats, and the tide is coming in. We need to launch a search and rescue. Ellie, meet me at the tidal flats. Roger that, Sam. This way, that's your turn. Do nicely. This way. No, not that way, Wooly. This way. Ah, there, all fixed. Sorry, sir, but I'm going to need Jupiter and the hovercraft. Right you are, Sam. Keep clear, everyone. That's how you drive with a trailer. No, no sign of him yet. Wait a minute. Oh, Maria! Ellie, looks like the helicopters have found him. Ellie, help, I'm stuck. Stay calm, Mike. We're going to get you out. Mike, I'm getting out the inflatable rescue path. Then I'm going to get you. OK, Ellie, take us in. Roger that, Sam. <gasps> My fox-proof bag! Oi, no you don't, you little red rascal. Station. It's okay. We got our bucket of water. Um, I think I will call the fire station. The wild men of Ponty Pandy have been outfoxed by the fox again, and they have started a forest fire. Men of Ponty Pandy have been outfoxed by the fox again, and they've started a forest fire. Sorry, cadets, we need to get to the fire. Wait, stop! Does that mean it's a draw? from your three-legged race, Norman. More haste, less speed. And good teamwork. Cadets, you stay back at a safe distance with me. Right, team. I'll take Venus 2 and drive around the outside of the fire and surround it with sticky foam. Arnold and Sam, you tackle the main blaze with water from Jupiter's hoses. And Elvis, you take care of any smaller fires with a floppy shovel. Right. Look at 
them go. A real team. A real team indeed. That was amazing! No rushing and loads of teamwork. If we'd been a team like that, Norman, we would have won the three-legged race. Oh, I get it now. I know exactly what to do. I want to race again. No, 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 no. I need your best action pose, Ben. You're a surfer, dude. You're pulling a 360. You're totally amped. You're... Just staying still? That doesn't mean you can't act excited. Look, I'll show you. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Like this. Or that. What about this? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. Looks like Mummy's got ants in her pants. <gasps> I've got it. It looks so much better if the sail was up. Um, Mrs Chen, I wasn't putting the sail up because if you do that, the wind will... Whoa! Um, catch the sail? Mummy's going really fast. Yes, Lily, she is. Help! I can't stop this! Oh, that's it, James. Perfect! Look out! Ah! What? What do we... You ruined my sandcastle! I think I'd better call the rescue team. Well done, girls. You're bound to win with one of those shots. Mrs Chen is on a runaway windsurfer that is heading out to sea and can't stop. Mrs Chen is on a runaway windsurfer that is heading out to sea and can't stop. Sorry, Mrs. Chen. You're safe now. I'm so sorry. I was so busy trying to get my winning photo. I forgot all about beach safety. You should always be careful when you're near the water, Mrs. Chen. Especially when you're using equipment you haven't used before. <sighs> I'm not sure this is working, Sam. Tom, is Wallaby 2 ready yet? Uh, yeah, we're almost fixed, Sam. Uh, I'll be in the air in a couple of minutes. Which way, little brother? I I'm not sure. But how will we get out? It'll be okay. Put these wet handkerchiefs over your nose and mouth. It'll help keep out the smoke. And we're going to stay low to the ground where the air is most breathable. Oh, if only we could let Fireman Sam know where we are. Wait. If that group of trees is here and the path is there, that means these rocks are just along the trail. They might be high enough for you to get a signal. OK, everyone stay here. I'll be right back. Malcolm, are you all safe? We're trapped in the clearing and Mike is injured. I'm sending you our exact location. I know where that is, but it'll take time to get there. 
just in time, Tom. I'm sending you the location of the trapped hikers. Keep the fire away from them. Got you, Sam. I'm on my way. Penny, change of plan. I need Venus back at the picnic site ASAP. Roger that, Sam. On our way. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine, kids. Arnold, I need you to help Elvis and Ellie fight the fire from here. Penny, we're going to create a wet corridor through the forest and get everyone to safety. Roger that, Sam. <laughs> oh, <coughs> the smoke's getting thicker. <coughs> What I'm talking about! Let's get Mike and Venus, then we'll all follow her out, keeping low. Sorry for making fun of your map, Dad. You're the one who saved the day. Thanks, love. But I think we all did it together. Oh, and the animals got out safely, too. Oh, I think this is what probably caused the fire, Sam. Oh, oopsie. That might have been mine. Norman, it's not just campfires and barbecues you have to be wary of during hot, dry weather. A magnifying glass can be a fire risk, too. Oh, I'm sorry. This massive, big, red, flappy thing came at me. You mean the ladybird, Norman? Ah! It's on my nose! Don't freak out, Norman. Remember what happened last time. Ah, oh, not freaking, not freaking. Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off! <laughs> From up here, you're going to have a great view. I bet it's not as good as the new town. Ooh! I suppose that was quite good. Oh, wow! Titan is going too! This is amazing! Oh, the police helicopter as well! This is the best tour ever! Won't be able to get in there. 
Roger that, Penny. Juno is made for this. Uncle Sam! I'm over here! James! Careful, Uncle Sam. There's a very grumpy bird here. Don't worry, James. We'll get you out of here in no time. Then she can have the island all to herself. Hurry up, Sarah. We've got another customer. I'll be as quick as I can. Oh! I'm being eaten by a sheep. Oh! Sarah, watch out. You're rolling. Oh! <gasps> Sarah's rolling away, and she's heading straight for the beach. Better call Ocean Rescue. Sarah Jones is trapped in Nurse Flood's car, and it's heading straight for the beach. Sarah Jones is trapped in Nurse Flood's car, and it's heading straight for the beach. Set. Sarah, do you read me? I can hear you, Uncle Sam. Uh, loud and clear. Help is on the way, but the tide is coming in and you need to make yourself safe until we get there. Listen carefully. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Uh, uh, roger that, Uncle Sam. Okay, Sarah. Once you have taken off your seatbelt, roll down the window and get out of the car. Remember, seatbelt, window, out. I've got it, Uncle Sam. That's it, Sarah. Don't worry, Sarah. I've got you. You go, Elvis! Well, I'm glad everyone is safe and sound, Sam. But our drills didn't exactly go as planned. And I didn't get any good footage for my ocean rescue epic. I think you might actually have the best ocean rescue epic ever, sir. Everyone's body cams were still on when we rescued Sarah. I know you didn't do it on purpose, Sarah, but you need to be really careful when you're inside a car and never touch any of the controls. Sorry, Penny. I don't suppose we'll ever get to see the new Flex Dexter movie now. I wouldn't worry about that, James. I know an even better movie you can see instead. Welcome to the premiere of our new promotional video. Introducing our new action hero and star of the silver screen, Elvis Critlington. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> oh no, uh, not this version! <laughs> A choppy sausage! Whoopsie. I think we'd better call the rescue team. The ghost of Ponty Pandy Pete has scared a horse, and now it's pulling a cart at high speed with passengers on board. The ghost of Ponty Pandy Pete has scared a horse, and now it's pulling a cart at high speed with passengers on board. Oh, that's a new one. Let's get you buckled into your new seat, Radar. No sirens today, Elvis. We don't want to scare the horse even more. Sam, Lizzie, we're going to need backup. Roger that, Elvis. I'll be with you as soon as I can. I'm on my way. Penny, how are we 
we going to rescue them without scaring the horse even more? I don't know, Elvis. <laughs> what is it, Radar? I think he wants to get out. Radar! I hope he's not going to scare the horse. Don't worry, Penny. Radar's known Prince since they were both little. Radar won't scare him. <laughs> doing what fire station dogs used to do in the old days. Looking after the horses. He's matching his pace and slowing him down. No! Oh. Are you two okay? Yes, thanks, Penny. Yes! Radar saved the day! I'm sorry, Lizzie. I didn't mean to scare the horse. That's okay, Norman. I know you didn't. And luckily, everyone's okay. But you have to be careful around horses. They're big and strong, but they can get scared very easily. So, no more haunted hay rides. Oh, but can I have a normal hayride instead, please? <sighs> Go on then, Norman. Yes! Oh! Oof. <laughs> I don't think that horse likes me anymore. Oh, look, a sausage. Nice work, Ellie. You look like a real action hero. That's it, Ellie. You look awesome. We are so going to get a winning shot here! Here comes the paddle! Good one, Sarah. Why don't you ride Mercury, Sam, and I'll throw the water? Uh, maybe later, Ellie. Do you need another bucket of water, Sarah? Ooh, uh, what about a shot of Elvis Cridlington, guitar superstar? Uh, yeah! <laughs> hmm, not really sure about that, Elvis. Oh, uh, well, wh what if I do my kneely down superstar pose? Uh, 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 oh no, I'm stuck. Uh, maybe we should go over to the hovercraft next, Mandy. Hmm. Good idea, Sarah. Uh, uh, um, can someone help me up, please? You ready for that bucket of water, Sam? Anything for a good shot, Ellie. This is going to look amazing. Cue the wind, Sarah. Wind in three, two, one. Oh, look at me. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Howdy, partners. I am ready for my close-up, ma'am. Um, Elvis, sorry, but you don't really look much like a cowboy. Oh, don't I? Well, you're dressed like a firefighter and you're on a plastic horse. Oh. Cue the water, Sarah. I'm on it. You enjoying your photo shoot, Sam? Hmm, not the modelling career I had in mind, Ellie. I wonder if anyone else is getting this wet. Ah! 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 Oh, this is brilliant! Ah! Ah! Oh no, they're heading out to sea! Better call Ocean Rescue after all. This is our viewing platform. <coughs> anyway, from here, with our eagle eyes and keen sense of observation, nothing goes unnoticed. Yes, we never miss a thing up here from the tiniest boot to... Uh, yes, Sergeant Ravani. Um... Behind you? Ooh, ooh, oh, I see. 
Joe and Hannah are heading out to sea in a jet-powered hot air balloon. Joe and Hannah are heading out to sea in a jet-powered hot air balloon. Sergeant Trevani, can you see where they went? No, sir. They were flying too fast. I'll head out to sea and search the area. Ready to back you up in Wallaby 2. Sergeant Trevani, you search to the south, and Tom, you search north. Roger that, Station Officer Steele. Transmitting coordinates now. I'm going down. Grab hold of this! Ben, get Titan to Pontypandy Island fast, or we'll have a massive fire on our hands. On my way! But I've got no one to operate the water cannons! I've got just the firefighter for the job. was close. And this is exactly what a dinosaur egg would look like. <laughs> what was that? I think it was Derek being flown away by a pterodactyl. <laughs> Oh, my! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Help! I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. Derek Rice has been scared by dinosaurs, carried away by a pterodactyl, and is now trapped on the cliffs of Dinosaur Island. I mean, Pontypandy Island. Three, two... Attention, firefighters! Oh, what happened to one? Derek Price has been scared by dinosaurs, carried away by a pterodactyl, and is now trapped on the cliffs of Dinosaur Island. I, I mean, Ponty Pandy Island. Come on, team, to Ponty Pandy Island! You head for the base of the cliff, man, and we'll head for the top. Watch that, Sam! Stay still, Derek. We're on our way down now. We'll soon get you to safety. Ready, Derek? Next stop, Titan. Oh, one more step, Derek. Careful. You're safe now. Well done, team! I'll meet you back at the beach! 
Roger Latcham. I really wish I could have had a go at the target practice. Look, I know you don't believe me, but I was chased by a dinosaur. That's rubbish, Derek, and you know it. Well, you could ask Norman, but I think the dinosaur actually got him. Um, well, it might not have been a real dinosaur. <laughs> what? Oh, you little... <sighs> you see, Norman? All sorts of things can happen when you try to scare people, and some of them can be really dangerous. Ready, Sam? OK, Charlie. Norman, you should be taking down these posters, not me. I will, Mandy. But first... Ta-da! Everyone passing by will see the great Normansky billboard. Beat that, Jim Major. Whoa, Dad, that's well impressive. Oh, just a little something I knocked together. May the best billboard win, Norman! Norman, where are you going now? To stop that billboard! Key. A flaming billboard is set fire to a fuel truck on Ponty Pandy Key. Please clear the area immediately. Malcolm, I need your help to operate Titan's second water cannon. But I'm not a trained firefighter, Sam. I know, but we need to move fast. The safety of Ponty Pandy is at stake. Let's do it. Ben, take us out to a safe distance. OK, Malcolm, hold it steady, aim and fire. Oh, oh. Got it! Penny, we can't reach the fire on the opposite side of the truck, so we'll try and keep the fuel tank cool until you arrive. We're almost there, Sam. We'll need to tackle this fire with foam, Elvis. Roger that, Penny. Now let's get those smaller fires out too. Fires are all out, Sam. And the fuel truck has cooled off. There's no danger of it exploding now. Thanks, Malcolm. If you ever think of leaving the police force, you'd make an excellent firefighter. Thanks, Sam. But I think I'll leave the firefighting to you guys. Did that runaway billboard have anything to do with you two, by any chance? Yes, except for the runaway part. Oh, I'm sorry. I was jealous that my spectacular billboard would get more people going to his show. I think you two need a safer way to tell everyone about your shows. Perhaps even work with each other? Put on a really special show? Oh, I never thought of that. Magic and drums! Uh, I think you'll find that's drums and magic. OK, everyone. You all know your motivation. 
Body cams on. Let's make ocean rescue movie history. I think directing this ocean rescue video has really gone to Station Officer Steele's head. Come on, Ellie. Ready for our close-up? And... Action. Remember, Sam, you're supposed to be lost at sea and need rescuing. Help! Help! I'm lost at sea and need rescuing! Now, Cridlington! I'm the king of the world! <laughs> Cut! Cut! Cridlington! All I can see is your nostril. And, and stop dangling there like a sack of potatoes. Oh, this is the worst ocean rescue video ever. You two, stop washing cars at once. The car wash was our idea. No way! We want to see the new Flex Dexter film too. And we're going to buy popcorn and fizzy pop. <laughs> Norman, come on. Time is money. Stop talking and get waxing. They've got wax! We haven't even got clean water! Ha! It's not our fault your car wash is rubbish! We'll see about that, Norman Price, because we're going to, um... We're going to, uh... Set up our car wash right here! Yeah! Yeah! Then we'll see you get the customers. Get him in the harness, Gridlington! And point your body cam at him while you're doing it. Uh, oh, it's a bit tricky doing both, sir. Uh, well, that's an interesting way of doing it. Give me distress, Sam. Um, help! I'm lost at sea and need rescuing. And Cridlington, please try and look a bit more like an action hero, would you? I know it's a stretch. Oh, what if I make my muscles look big and do a flex dexter smile? <laughs> oh! I'm not sure it's working. Just get Sam into the harness, Elvis. Um, OK, Ellie. Uh, Tom, I think we're ready. Bring us up. Here we go. The big one. The action shot, the grab. <laughs> Cut! Whoa! James Jones is lost in the mountains. We need to launch a search and rescue mission. I'll go with Penny and Tom in Wallaby 2. Sam, you back us up in the ambulance. Roger that, Helen. We find him soon. The sun is starting to go down. Help! Help! I'm over here! It's getting dark, Tom. We need to find James fast. Roger that, Sam. Switching to thermal imaging now. Looks like we've found him. Get ready to go in, Helen. Roger that, Tom. Don't worry, James. Everything is going to be all right. Are you hurt? Um, no. I don't think so. Hang on tightly, James. We're going to get you out of here. I've got him, Penny. Take us up. Roger that, Helen. Hold us steady, Tom. Oh, hello, Uncle Sam. 
He's not injured, Sam, but be careful driving him back. He's had quite enough excitement for one day. Roger that, Helen. And don't worry, I'll remember the fizzy pop. Well done, pioneers. And a nice effort at bandaging. I did that! It was very good that you learnt lots of things from your book, James. But you forgot what it said on the first page. Happy birthday, James! Love from your sister, Sarah. Uh, no, not, not that. Maybe the next page? Uh, contents? No, James, not that one either. Oh, here it is. Always keep calm. Yep, yeah, yes, that's it, James. Always keep calm. Do you want me to drive you back to Pontypandy in the ambulance, Trevor? Maybe it might be best if I drive, Elvis. <laughs> and I'll give you a few lessons on the way. Oh, OK, Helen. <gasps> But can I drink the fizzy pop this time? <laughs> <laughs> An out of control sky burner has set fire to the Flutz house and surrounding area. You head to the Flood's house. We'll deal with any other blazes, but we'll need Saturn to pinpoint the locations. Roger that, Sam. Launching Saturn now. There's a group of fires in the northeast woods, Sam. Roger that, Elvis. On our way. Joe and Mike are trapped inside. We're on it. Come on, guys. Stay low and let's get you out. Let's get this fire under control. You two blast the main blaze before it spreads. I'll tackle the smaller fires. Dad! Hey! Oh, Dad! I was so worried. We're all clear at the Flood's house, Sam. What's your situation? Everything's under control here, Penny. I'm so sorry. I rushed the assembly of my pyrotechnic launcher module 2000 and I didn't have time for the final safety check. No, it's my fault for being so impatient, Dad. I should have given you more time. It would have been worth the wait. Well, however good it was, the safest way to enjoy fireworks is at an organised public display. But we've missed that now. Oh, no, you haven't. If you hurry, you may just catch the start. <gasps> can we go, Dad? Of course we can. Great. I will get to see two displays after all. And hopefully, these fireworks will be where they belong. <laughs> Up in the sky. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. They're nearly as good as yours. That way you can watch the team in action. Let's go! Let's go! Sam, 
You shut off the power while I tackle the fire. I'll look for Trevor. OK, Penny, you're clear. I can't find Trevor. The smoke's too thick to see. Sam, you help Elvis while Penny puts out the rest of the blaze. I'm on it, Penny. Trevor! 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 Can you hear us? Sam, check upstairs in Norman's room. I saw some movement. Roger that, Penny. How am I doing for there? You're fine, Sam. Your air is at 68%. So just take it calmly and slowly. I found him, Ellie. Trevor, stay low and move towards me. OK, Sam. Now, let's get you out of here. All clear, everyone. It looks like the cause of this fire was an overloaded plug, Dillis. You should never put too many plugs in the same socket. I'm sorry, Firefighter Penny. I just had too many peas and not enough freezers to put them in. Well, I think you better sell them quickly then. Oh, now there's a thought. I'm sorry I messed up the fire drill, Ellie. I thought the ECB was the boring job. Well, we're going back to do some more drills now, Mandy. You can go into the training tower this time if you want. No! I want to do the ECB. Now I can see that it's really important and really exciting. And I can give Dolly her foot back. Frozen peas, slightly smoke damaged. Two for the price of one. Get them at the cat price store now. Where well, stocks last? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Mum, Dad, better call the fire station. There is a fire at the Holfish Cafe. And Sarah is inside looking for Nipper. There's a fire at the Holfish Cafe, and Sarah's inside looking for Nipper. We need you all to move back for your own safety. Thank you. I'll find Sarah and Nipper. I'll tackle the fire. I can't see Sarah and Nipper. I'm going to check the basement. Roger that, Sam. Sarah! Sarah! I'm here, Uncle Sam! Oh, Sarah, we need to leave. And I can't find Nipper! Don't worry, Sarah, we'll find him. But right now, I have to get you out of here. The fire's out, Sam! I couldn't find Nipper anywhere. <laughs> what is it, girl? Go, show me. Shadow sniffing Nipper's toy. She's trying to find him for you. She's concerned about the smoke. Lead radar. <laughs> That's it. Follow. <laughs> what a team. <laughs> Sarah, you have to keep a very close eye on dogs and make sure that you always know where they are. Lizzie's checked the dogs over and they're all fine. Oh, Nipper, I'm so glad you're safe. All thanks to Radar and Shadow. <coughs> hmm, those forests are too thick for Venus or Hydras to get through. And it's too far by foot. So... How are we going to get to the search zone before it gets dark? Well, 
There is one way. <laughs> this isn't quite the helicopter ride I was hoping for. Don't worry, you two. I'll be taking it slow and easy. Roger that, Sergeant. We'll let you know if things get a bit bumpy. Don't you worry. All I need to do is climb up the tallest tree, and then I can see exactly where we are. I'm so sorry, Norman, but I'm going to need the... Here. Here I go. We're clear, Sergeant Ravani. Roger that, Sam. I'll be your eyes in the sky while you cover the ground. Be careful, Granddad! Don't you worry. An old pioneer never loses his... <laughs> oh, 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 dear. <laughs> We're getting close. Granddad, hold on! That's Sarah's voice. <laughs> oh, hooray! Hooray! Hey, where's Gareth? <laughs> Gareth, are you all right? I'm in a little bit of bother, Sam. Whoa. Ah, stay calm, I'm coming to get you. We found Gareth and the kids. But we're going to need helicopter backup. Copy that. Take me up. Do you want to lift down, Gareth? They certainly do, Sam. Yay! I never should have taken that old shortcut, Sam. Maybe not, Gareth. And you should always let someone know where you're going when you set off on a hike. If not for Radar and Shadow, we might not have found you. I'm sorry, Sam. And I'm sorry, Pioneers. It looks like you'll miss the party. And it's all my fault. <coughs> hey, Gareth! I think your old Pioneer shortcut might work after all. Really? The Mountain Activity Center is just through these trees! Hooray! Oh, yay! <laughs> well done, Gareth. Do you think you might be taking the Pioneers on more hikes in the future? I think I might, Sam. As long as I've got Norman to carry my binoculars. Wow! <laughs> I hate these binoculars. Mandy, Norman and Sarah are stuck on a collapsing hill near the Mountain Activity Centre. I'm going to need backup, Sam. I'll pick you up in high dress. I'll meet you there. And keep still, kids. We're on our way. OK, Sarah, I'm just going to secure my rope. Mm -hmm. ah, but now I'm going to attach it to you. OK, Norman, the ropes are secure. I'm going to lower you down. Ready? Mandy, the gap is too big. I'll need to get to you another way. Hang on, Sam. We are coming to help. Kilo, whoa! Come on.
Demon Hero. Let's try this way. Sam, take this! Get ready, Mandy. I'm coming across. Ready, Sergeant Ravani! Kilo, this way. Ah, thanks, Sergeant Ravani. And thank you, Kilo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to find the Ponty Pandy Pansy. I know I shouldn't have wandered off. I told them we should head back, Uncle Sam. I'm sure you did, James. And Mandy, you should never climb a hill like that without the correct equipment and supervision. I'm sorry, it's my fault, Fireman Sam. I should have been paying attention. I got distracted taking my photo for the Wall of Fame. Oh, I knew you wouldn't finish that list, Mandy. I did actually, Norman. I saw the Ponty Pandy Pansy when Sam and Kilo were rescuing me. Well then, we'd better take your photo for the wall. Grizzlies was that? Fire! Fire? I told you there was a dragon. That was no dragon. They dropped their candles! Right. Stay together, everyone. I'd better call the fire station. The beast of Ponty Pansy Mountain has dropped a seaweed candle and started a forest fire. The beast of Potty Paddy Mountain had struck a seaweed candle and started a forest fire. Well, who saw that coming? We're going to need to go back up. Cans. Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam. Stand back, everyone. One big bucket of water coming up. That is one big bucket. I'm sorry. I'm afraid it was our seaweed candles that started the fire. I know, Bronwyn. Norman told everyone. Uh... And a forest is not really a place for candles. I promise that if we do another whale song forest retreat, we'll use battery ones instead. Oh, I'm not sure I want to do another whale song forest retreat. That was possibly one of the most unrelaxing experiences I've ever had. Well, Agent Price, it looks like we solved the mystery of the beast of Ponty Pandy Mountain. We did it, Agent Sparks, and it turned out to be a whale. <laughs> <laughs>